This month, the Whitefish City Council will vote on a new set of regulations for short-term rentals in the city, which were passed by the City Planning Board late last month. MTN's Jack Ginsburg takes a closer look into these new regulations and how they will shape the future of VB VRBO and Airbnb rentals in the city. Whitefish has 50 registered short-term rental properties that are leased to people for 30 days or less. But the city believes the actual number is closer to 300. City Council member Richard Hildener says all these unregistered properties are illegally run and hopes that the new regulations will create a more fair and balanced market for everyone in the short-term rental business when the vote happens in three weeks. Number one, uh, they're in the proper location and two, uh, that they are paying their taxes and they are licensed and uh, so that it's a level playing field with the other uh, commercial businesses in town uh, that rent rooms such as hotels, motels. The city is taking a two-step approach to the short-term rentals. The first approach would be simple changes to the zoning codes regarding the rentals. Hildener says the current zoning where rentals are allowed wouldn't change, but the definition of what a short-term rental is would see a change in the language. We changed the definition just slightly so it includes even a single room in a house. And this is to cover those who would do couch surfing, surfing uh, as an option uh, and charge for that service. With the addition of the new rule, every individual unit would require a short-term rental permit, even under the same roof or owner. The second would be contracting a short-term rental compliance company that would track the rentals and make sure they are complicit with all the new rules and regulations. The company would notify the city whenever a new short-term property became available, and then the city would follow up with the renter of the home or room to register them as a legal short-term rental. Hildener says this not only ensures they are in the legal zone, but makes the renter safe as they will go through inspection from the fire marshal and health department. Hildener also says tightening the regulations would eliminate illegal short-term rentals in residential areas that could otherwise be used as long-term affordable housing. Those looking for affordable housing uh, oftentimes uh, can use what are the called mother-in-law apartments in residential districts, and that's, that helps with that issue. In Whitefish, Jack Ginsburg, MTN News.